video, we're going to go through the song, There is a Redeemer, and we're going to do the vocabulary for it. In this section, we're going to go through and just give you the signs that you can learn to copy to be able to create the, to be able to sign the song. But it's really, really, really important that you not learn this as individual signs, that you do this in sentences. Now, I can't help but show you the signs individually, but I want you to practice doing them in sentences. As you go along and you get more comfortable with the signs, I want you to you know, print off the lyrics. All the lyrics are up there on the web. And I want you to look at the lyrics, and I want you to read the line, and then sign the line. Read the line, sign the line. And then eventually, read two lines and sign two lines. Because I want you to get to the point where the signs flow. When we talk, we run all of our words together. We don't really put spaces between them. Okay? In sign language, that works by kind of morphing the signs from one to another. And I'll show you how, what that means here in a little bit. But just like you can't learn English from a dictionary, you're not going to learn signs by learning the individual signs. Preaching aside, time to get going. There is a Redeemer. Okay? Pretty simple song. And I think if you choose this song, you're going to have to work more on emphasizing your expression than you do on maybe some of the other songs because the song is fairly simple. Okay? Keep that in mind. There is a Redeemer. There is, okay, there. There's a lot of different ways that there, as in a place, can be signed, okay? If it's something is in a particular place, like the camera is in front of me, there is the camera, okay? There is the pocket. But when it says there is a Redeemer, that's really not a place. It's kind of it's just a statement of fact. And so it, you use the there sign, but you kind of make it not point to anywhere. There is, okay, there, is. Is is the letter I, and it comes off the chin. Let me do that sideways so it's easier to see. This is. It has a number of signs that come off the chin. I think we'll get through most of them as we go through this. There is a Redeemer. In sign language, we're going to take all the little connecting words and we're just going to throw them away. They don't need to be there uh, to be understood. And the deaf just don't use them, not in their general conversation. Okay? So, A, leave it away. Redeemer. R's. So make R's, cross your arms, and then come up. Redeemer. Okay? Redeem er. This is time for redeem. Redeem. If you were to be saved, it'd be S's. Save. Okay? If you're to liberate, you'd be L. If it'd be freedom, it's free. See how that kind of all works together there? So redeem. And if we put this on the end of a sign, it becomes a person that does the previous sign. So this is time to redeem, a redeemer, a savior, uh, a sailor, um, a tailor. Uh, anyway, you see what I'm saying here? You put that on the end of it, and it, the word I made up, I don't think you'll find it in a dictionary, but it occupationalizes the, the sign. Uh, the, the, the first word, the noun. Redeem, or verb, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, Redeemer, all that for one sign. How about that? Jesus. Okay? You can use either this finger or this finger, and as the sign is pretty obvious, it is the nail print in the hand. I generally use the center finger. But I've seen it done either way, and it's understood either way. If you have more control over that one, which most people do, I still recommend doing that one. Okay, Jesus. God's own son. God. Okay. And God is like, I'm doing it in, in slow motion here. Kind of like you're going out, up, and then setting a post in a hole. Okay. So, God, his own son, okay? God 
it it. Okay? It's directional pointing. If you use it with open palm force, though, then it is not he, it is his. It is not you, it is yours. So his, okay? Own son. In sign language, the head is divided in half. Okay? In the top half of the head are all the male signs. In the bottom half of the head, all the female signs. So you'll see this a lot, like mom is at the chin, dad is at the forehead, grandparents, uh, aunt, uh, uncles and aunts. Uh, the head is divided, boy and girl. So son comes from the head, top of the head, and comes down. It's really kind of a combination of signs between boy and baby. But son is what it kind of morphs to. Okay? Precious Lamb of God. Precious. Two F hands. Start with like your little fingers touching down here. And then circle up until the circles come together. Alright? Precious lamb. And this is like the, the coat, uh, uh, the, uh, the fur on a lamb. So, uh, the way I remember this is the story of uh, Jacob and Esau. When Jacob came in, he had lamb's wool around his arm, so his blind dad, Isaac, could touch his hand, or touch his arm, and see, oh yeah, you feel like Esau, which makes you wonder a little bit about Esau. Esau must have been a very hairy guy. Anyway, lamb, all that again for one time. But, uh, of God. Of is just O-F. Okay? Of God. Messiah is the letter M, and you just kind of bring it down and bow a little bit. Messiah. Messiah. So he comes out with the knuckles out, circles up, and comes down. Okay? Messiah. Precious Lamb of God, Messiah. Holy One. Okay? Holy. Make an H, circle it, and then land it. Holy. First verse down. Thank you. Now you got to get this verse down good because you're going to sing this verse three different times. Same verse. Same because it's a chorus. Get this one down and you'll have what half the song done. Thank you. It's thank you. Oh my father. Okay. Thank you. Kind of comes from the chin and just kind of comes out. Thank you. And you don't have to put in you. This is thank and you. Your eyes point to the you. So it's thank you. If I were to thank you, it'd be thank you. Your eyes do the you on thank you. Oh my, it is thank you. Oh. It just got a letter O. Down and around and back where you started. Oh my. Remember? Open palm. Ownership. Pronoun. My. Father. Now, father, I already told you, this is mother, this is father. When you're doing God, it's two hands. Father. The father God has its own sign. I'm going to do that sideways so you can see it easier. Father. Father, and also, you really ought to be looking up as you're doing it. Father, thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son. Four, just point to your head and then rotate your wrist. That's the only thing that's moving here. For giving. Okay? So if, if I'm going to go to you and you're going to give me something, you're going to give me something. Notice that it came from you to me. If I'm going to give you something, 
I'm going to give to you is directional. I, 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 mean, I wish I had a better word to describe that, but it's obvious in the way and the direction that the sign is done who the two parties are. Okay? God did the giving. So, giving. He is up there. He's always up there. Now, I know he's everywhere. But in sign language, he's up here. Giving us point to here and here. Same side as your elbow, opposite side of your elbow, as your elbow. You've touched the two corners of your shoulders here. Your son, your palm up, possession, son. We've already done that sign before. And leaving your spirit, hand, hand is an open palm coming out this way. Open palm coming to the right. Okay? And you bring your fingers all together. And leaving your spirit, leaving, it's kind of like you have a basketball or a bowl or something, and you're going to set it down on a table and you're going to let it go. Leaving your spirit. Spirit. Same sign as soul, same sign as ghost. You make an F hand with your left hand, and then you sew. It's just like sewing. Pretend you have a needle in there, and you're sewing. Okay, that's a sign for soul or spirit. Okay, and I always put in a here in the song. It makes it clearer for the deaf. So, leaving your spirit, the word's not there, but I find it anyway, here, till, this is a, your finger kind of going in an arc to the other, but it doesn't quite make it, okay, it doesn't, doesn't connect, till, that's a sign for until, the work on earth is done, the work, the word the, or leave it out, work. You leave one hand like this and then from your wrist you just kind of bang your wrist together a little bit. So work on, so you lay your hand on the other hand, earth. You take your center finger and your thumb and you kind of clamp down on your hand. That's the best way to show that. Right there. And just kind of rock back and forth. And the other fingers are kind of out. Earth is done. Is done. Finished. It's kind of like when you wash the dishes and you fling the water off your hand at your sister or your brother or your mom, and then you run. <laughs> Finished. Okay? Jesus, my Redeemer. Jesus, my Redeemer. We know those signs already. Name above all names. Name above all names. Okay? And what I signed there was name above all other names. Just like when I put in here, I kind of added it as a sign. I put in other here because it makes more sense. Okay? It makes it clearer for the deaf. For the deaf. So, Jesus, my Redeemer, name. And you'll have this from your, you should know this one from your introduction. But anyway, name. Just kind of a little mild karate chop with your fingers, one on top of the other. Name above. So you have one down here, and you raise it above. Okay? So you're lifting it. And in sign language, you'll see this a lot. Um, if you're having trouble with knowing which hand to do things with, if you're right-handed, all of the work is done with your right hand. The left hand just sets the stage. So if you're looking at the sign, you go, I can't remember which way it goes, whether it's this way or this way. Well, it's this way because this is the hand that's moving. This one just sets the stage. If you're left-handed, it's the opposite. Okay. Okay. Name above all names. Above all. All. And I don't know the best way to sign this. 
sign, tell you how to sign your sign. Except to just to do it for you and say, can you get that done? It's kind of like twiddling. Like, you know, you twiddle your thumbs. It's kind of like that with scans. Only you start on with this in there and you bring it around and it's in there again. There's no slap there. But you start there and end there. All other names, like you're hitchhiking, names. Precious Lamb of God Messiah. Precious Lamb of God Messiah. We've already done that before. Hope for sinners slain. Hope. Kind of like waving here. Yeah, hi back. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Hope for sinners slain. Sinner. It's X fingers. And it kind of make a little loopy loop out here. Sinners. Okay, remember what this does? It makes it a person who does this. Sinners slain. And it's a finger is kind of sliding it underneath your hand. And I suspect it has something to do with like slitting a throat. But that anyway, don't don't remember that one. <laughs> Alright, slain. And then you have the course again. Thank you, oh my father, for giving us your son. Okay? When I stand in glory. When is like a lollipop. You got the stick with the lollipop, and you're just kind of drawing a lollipop on top. When I stand, you just make a place to stand up and you stand on it. Okay? In, make a cup and you kind of put your hand in it. Okay? Glory. Alright? It's kind of a little bitty, one little bitty gold clap and then shh. Shimmery. One of my favorite signs. I think it's a pretty sign. When I stand in glory, I will see his face. I, you know, will. And it's just a hand coming up past your ear. Past your ear. Will. Okay. Just like the head is divided for male and fem or male and female, the body is also divided. The forward is future. And things going that direction or past. Time wise. Uh, I will see his face. See. In sign language, your eyes are on the ends of your fingers. So you can look around. You can look up, you can look down, you can look up from a high place, you can look on top of the refrigerator. It's really, really nice, okay? But look. Make sure that your eyes eyes though follow what your finger or finger eyes are doing. Okay, this doesn't doesn't make sense to go alright. See see how that disconnects? I'm looking really looking over here, but my fingers are looking over there. Mm, doesn't work. Okay? Make sure your eyes follow your finger eyes. See see his face. Okay? I will see his face. And it's directional, like the other sign. See, I could be looking up. His, and it's up there, face. And you take your finger and you're just circling your face. And there I'll serve my king forever. And there, okay, remember this is different from the first there. This one is at a specific place. There I will. In sign language, there's no apostrophe. Because there's no apostrophe, there's no contractions. So all the contractions are decontracted. It's not I'll. It's I will serve. Okay, just a little hands going back and forth. You want some coffee? You can take it. Coffee, and cake, coffee, and cake. Okay. Serve my king. Remember, I showed you Lord. Did I show you Lord? I don't think I showed you Lord. I think it was a previous video. Anyway, Lord, our king, is a K starting at the shoulder opposite your elbow. K 
coming down to your hip. It's a K. If you put an L on it, it's Lord. If you put an M on it, it's Master. If you put a Q on it, it's Queen. P on it, it's Princess or Prince. Okay? So, K, King, forever. Always, yet, is what sign it is for forever. Circle in the air, always. A Y hand kind of going out. Forever. In that holy place. In, we saw already. That is a Y hand just kind of slapping into your other hand. That holy, okay, we've done holy before, place. Take the letter P and you touch the center fingers together and you make a circle in front of you and you get the fingers to touch again. Place. Okay, and now you have the chorus. And those are all the signs for there is a Redeemer. All right, get to where you can feel comfortable doing this on your own, look at the paper, and, and when you feel like you've got all the signs down, and you can read through the paper and do the signs, go to the next video where I will be singing the song very, very slowly, and you'll be able to copy it from there. Okay, looking forward to seeing you there at LT.